Hello guys, welcome back. Now in this tutorial, we are going to do another example and this example is basically going to calculate the area of rectangle, area of square and area of a rhombus. So let's go ahead and create a lightning web component. We'll go to the command palette and we'll create a lightning component here and the name of the component, we'll call it as shape calculator. And I hope you know the area to calculate the of the square the it is the formula is side squ square and uh, area to calculate for the rectangle is length into breadth and the area to calculate rhombus is diagonal 1 multiplied by diagonal 2 divided by 2 this is the formula to calculate the area for the rhombus this is for the rectangle and then this is for the square so let's go ahead and uh, open our shape calculator.html file. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and first capture the side of the square, the length and the breadth of the rectangle and the diagonal one and diagonal two of the rectangle. So what we're going to do here is we are going to create some input boxes. The first input box would be for the side of the square. The second input box would be to for the length of the rectangle. The third input box will be to calc uh, fetch the breadth of the rectangle or we can say the width of the rectangle and then you have is the capture the diagonal one and diagonal two for the rhombus and now we'll create three buttons here. The first one will calculate for the square. The second one will calculate the area of the rectangle and the third one will be for the rhombus. So if you clicked on this rhombus then it will capture these two values and give you the area. If you clicked on this button, it will go ahead and capture these two values and give you the area. And if you calculate the square, this value would be used to calculate the area. So let's go back and let's set up our template first. So the first thing is I'm going to create a lightning card here. The title would be, we'll call it as shape calculator. And inside of this lightning card, I'll create a lightning layout. And the lightning layout will be of multiple rows and inside of this lightning layout I'll create my first lightning layout element so we'll call it as lightning layout item this is the tag I'm going to use and the size would be 12 and padding is going to be around medium so this is going to be my lightning layout item and inside of this lightning layout item I'm going to create a lightning input box and uh, this input box would be capture the value of type would be number and the label is will be equals to enter side of the square that's going to be for the square now we're going to go ahead and uh, duplicate this a couple more times so the next would be this is also going to be for input type would be number and uh, here we have to add a on change handler so we'll go ahead and add the on change handler and we'll call this as side change handler and the next one would be enter the width of the rectangle and uh, same would be the next we'll go ahead and copy this this would going to be width change handler so they're going to add on change here and we'll call this as width change handler and then the next one would be to capture the height and the on change would be height change handler and then we have for the rhombus so we'll calculate we'll say enter diagonal one for rhombus and uh, we'll call this as diagonal one change handler and then we'll go ahead and copy this one more time and this is going to be for the diagonal two for the rhombus and we'll call this as diagonal two change handler so far we have done is we have just created the input boxes and now the next thing is we will create our buttons. So for the buttons also, I'm going to go ahead and use the same layout. 
and uh, inside of this will create because I'm creating multiple buttons so I'm creating a button group here so I'll go ahead and uh, create a lightning button group and inside of this button group I'll create my first button lightning button and uh, the label for the button would be square and the position let's put it on the right side so this is our button we have added then the next button we are going to add let's say we'll call this as rectangle and this will be in the center and the third one we'll add the next button we'll add would be for rhombus and this will be on the left now the next thing is we also need to add the on click for the buttons so the first one when we click on the button we'll call this as calculate square area handler so we'll call this as calculate square area handler the next one we'll call this on click calculate rectangle area handler and then for this one on click we'll call it as calculate rhombus area handler so this is our html so in this we just have decided to put the markup so we have our input boxes and then we have three buttons now the next thing is i think we have double equals to here so get rid of all this next thing is once we have added these buttons one more thing that we need to add is we have to display the output so in order to display the output i'm going to create another lightning layout item here so I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a lightning layout item and the size is going to be 12 and padding would be around medium and inside of this we are going to display our output. So here I'm going to use lightning formatted text and uh, in the lightning formatted text I'll go ahead and just display the value of the the parameter that I'm going to use we'll call it as current output and this will have the output of either area square whatever the area we are calculating so this is where we'll display the output now let's go ahead and open our shape calculator.js file now the first thing is I need to uh, get the track decorator because I wanted to create the reactive properties so that whenever I make a change it should get reflected on the HTML so it should re-render that component and then inside of this what I'm going to do is first thing is I'm going to create my first property that I wanted to track is the current output that's the property this one the current output this is the property I want to track so I'm going to go ahead and define that property here and then you have is the width of the rectangle then height of the rectangle these are just the private properties the side of the square diagonal one for the rhombus and diagonal two, two for the rhombus. So we have defined these two, these are the properties. So the first property is the reactive property and the rest of the properties are just for the use because we are using, we are just going to display the area. We don't have to track the rest of the properties. Now, next first, we are going to go ahead and uh, we'll define our handler. So first one is the side change handler and whatever we have gotten we are going to define so the site change handler this dot of side would be equals to event dot target dot value this is going to be for the square the next one we have is the width change handler so anytime the input box will be changed it will call it. so we have width change handler which is going to this dot of width would be equals to event dot target dot value the next one we have is the height change handler this dot height event dot target dot value so it's nothing but whatever whenever the input text value will change whenever the input text value will change this event would get fired let's say if the side input text value gets changed this event gets fired and whatever the value is in that event will be transferred to this site okay so the side will have that value similarly when the width change handler gets called 
then whatever the value is in that event will be passed to the width property. So this is we have done. The next one we have is after is diagonal one change handler. So let's go ahead and uh, copy this one event and whatever the value this dot of diagonal one is equals to event dot target dot value. And the next one we have is the diagonal to change handler. So let's go ahead. So we have defined all the handlers now. This dot diagonal, very easy, diagonal to is equals to event dot target dot value. So now we have defined all our handlers. The next thing we need to do is we have to calculate the square. We have to define these handlers now. So let's go ahead and uh, define each of them. First one is calculate the square. So for this one, we'll say, well, whatever the value that we have, we'll pass into an integer. So we received the value in this dot site. So we're going to go ahead and uh, store that value in a constant and we'll call this as S. And now we are going to calculate the area, right? So we are going to say the area of the rectangle is what? Side multiplied by side. So the, this dot of current output would be equals to area of the square is plus, and here we can say S multiplied by S, simple. That's going to be the output. Similarly, the next one was the calculate the rectangle area. So that is going to be width multiplied by height. Okay, so that's going to be width multiplied by height. So what we're going to say is constant W is equals to first we will convert the value into an integer. So we'll in convert the width value, which is a string, because what we received from the input box is a string. So we're going to convert it into integer and then we will store that in here. Similarly, we will go ahead and uh, get the value of the height, which is in string, and we will convert it into integer. So we'll say parse int, and then whatever we retrieved, we are going to store in this variable called h, and then we are going, we are good to calculate the area of the rectangle. So what will be the area of the rectangle? So this dot current output is equals to area of the rectangle is w multiply by height simple similarly the last one we have is the calculate the rhombus area handler so now let's go ahead and define this this one first is we will convert the value of the diagonals so we'll go ahead and say this dot of diagonal one and converted value will store in a constant and we'll call it as D1 and then we'll go ahead and uh, convert the value of the second diagonal and we'll store it in D2. So this dot of diagonal 2. Now what is the area of the rhombus? It's diagonal 1 multiplied by diagonal 2 divided by 2. So here this dot of current output. Now this is a reactive property. So anytime it changes, it will reflect on the HTML. So the area of the rhombus is plus D1 multiplied by D2 divided by 2. That's going to be the output. Now, we have defined all of these. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and update our configuration file. There's an error. This is not, an, you can just skip it because it's expecting another parameter, which is the red X. Otherwise, it's fine. So now let's go ahead and uh, is exposed, we'll set it to true. And then we'll also set the targets. So the first target is lightning app page. The next one is lightning home page. The third one we have is the lightning record page. So now we have set up the targets. We have set up our JS file and then we also have set up our HTML. Let's go ahead and push these changes. So we'll go ahead and push these changes to the org. Okay, so the push is successful. Now we'll go ahead and open our default org. So let's go back to the app here and let's edit our page and we will add our component to this page. So let's go here, click the edit page. Now let's get rid of this quarterly performance. And here 
we will add our component. So our component is some uh, shape calculator. So let's go ahead and add this component on here. And you can see here it is asking you for side of the square, width of the rectangle, etc. Let's go ahead and hit the back button and look at it on the page itself. So, so what it does is here enter the side of the square. So if I say 15, so the area of the square would be 225. So here the square area would be 225. If I enter the width of the rectangle, let's say 10 and height of the rectangle, let's say 12. So the area of the rectangle would be 120. So this will get overridden by area of the rectangle is 120. Now, if I give diagonal one, let's say is 50 and diagonal two is let's say 100. So in this case, the diagonal should be about 250 or 2500 area should be 2500. So this is how you can calculate the area of the rectangle of the square or of the rhombus. Now let me go ahead and change the spelling here and we can push the changes again. So this is how you can create an app, uh, create a lightning web component. So far we have done is we have just used trackable and non-trackable properties and we talked about handlers, etc. So now we're going to go ahead and in the next tutorial, in the next tutorial, we will go ahead and talk about public properties and private properties and what is the difference between them. So I'll see you then. Thank you.